What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Jazzman, and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I got a story for y'all. By the title, I'm pretty sure y'all can figure out what we're talking about. But anyway, I'm at work, in case you couldn't tell, sitting in my car, got the road over here. Um, so I'm at work, I had, again, two interesting customers today. One wasn't actually mine, one was one of my coworkers, but we're going to talk about them anyway, so we're going to start with that one. A customer messaged in being extremely professional about this um as courteous as it could be like hey keep background again i work at a lightsaber company we make lightsabers you know from star wars but you know anyway the customer asked well he prerequisite with i work for an adult film company pornography so right then we knew what the question was going to be and sure enough the question was can uh, are your sabers durable enough to be used in porn? And we actually get this question quite often. Well, when I say quite often, I've, I've been working here for going on two years, and I've probably seen it two or three dozen times, right? Um, it's an interesting question. And, um, of course, his the proper response... And the response he gave were, um, this is not the intended use for our sabers. Um, and then after he, after the customer left and everything, we did a bit of research to see if they actually placed an order, and they did. We found an order for a Renegade. Uh, our Renegade hilt is, um, it's a three-pronged hilt, so it has three blades, you know, it's kind of like Kylo Ren's. Um... So then we started making a joke, me and my coworkers, about, dang, this is uh, this ain't a one-person kind of deal. They've got three blades, so you, you, you can imagine. Um, just, you know, get all three people hooked up to one of the blades, just wiggle it around. Uh, <laughs> but then another person I had, and this was my customer, I messaged in, and, and I'm assuming it was a child, a 12-year-old, who had nothing better to do with his day. Um, he messaged in, I want MILFs. MILF. M-I-L-F, you know? Um, and my smart ass replied, this is not a service that we offer. However, we do have suggestion box if, uh, you want to leave a suggestion. <laughs> And I showed that to my coworkers when I sent it, and they were like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yes," and and we all fucking laughed. Um, the best part was about it, an hour, two hours later, my supervisor caught wind, and uh, she walked up to me like, "Really? That was your response?" Yes, yes, it was. Everything I said in my message was 100% factual. We do not offer that service. And we have a suggestion box. Normally, that's where people recommend sabers, but we have one. And that's a product the customer wanted. We didn't offer it. I did everything according to policy. What they were upset with <laughs> is I prerequisite that message with, unfortunately, that's not a service we provide as if I was upset we didn't provide milfs which it'd be nice <laughs> but uh yeah dildos and milfs that's what I got to deal with at work today not bad I'll talk to y'all later as always appreciate y'all being here and stay jazzy